On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, iBuyPower has the drip and the GPUs. CyberPower PC has all the cases, but not all the GPUs. NZXT Build will actually let you buy something. Build Redux would have everything, but something's missing. And a new challenger approaches. How will Zydax PC shape up against the competition? All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where I refuse to answer the question as to whether or not I'm wearing pants under this desk, leading to a paradox of quantum superposition, much like Schrodinger's cat. Unfortunately, uh, Braithorn's pants doesn't make as good of a name for a thought experiment, but uh, let's move on. We're not concerned with that right now. Oh, well, you might be concerned about it now, but don't be. We're here to talk about pre-built gaming computers, or pre-built computers in general. Uh, that you can purchase directly from system integrators, not from retailers, I don't care what your buddies tell you, uh, it is better to get them directly from the system integrator. And that's who we're looking at here so that you can avoid all that mess with trying to find a GPU for your gaming PC. Instead, you get the whole thing all built and uh, ready to go. And if you're a custom PC builder, you can rebuild it or migrate it to another case, which we are doing a video on. Yes, yes, that is coming up soon. I'm glad to see you guys eager to see that in the comments. Um, and so you can just do that and then say you built it because you will have built it. Now, for those who don't care about building PCs, which is plenty of you guys, and that's totally fine, you're done. You order your PC, you get it, you plug it in, start gaming. Good to go. Now, before we get into this, I'd like to mention a couple important things. First off, this is filmed on July 18th, uh, 2021. Now, availability changes constantly, and you may find different results when you go looking for these when you watch the video. Secondly, a lot of this information, that a lot of the things that I'm saying are based on my opinions. Now, my opinions have been formed after a long time in the tech industry and a much longer time as a custom PC enthusiast. However, your opinion may differ, and that's totally fine. Let me know in the comments, let me know in the Discord, and uh, let's have a chat about it. Actually, Come onto the stream. I stream, I do my PC streams every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central, twitch.tv slash Breathorn. I'd love to have you guys there because I help viewers build PCs one on one, one after another. And it is a great, great time. Now we're including a new system integrator, well, new to the show, uh, that we haven't uh, looked at before. Because I was looking through the some of the questions that have been posted on my Q&A tweet, which by the way, doing a Q&A video soon, uh, go to my Twitter, which is just at Brayathorn, and, uh, and check out my tweet saying, this is the Q&A tweet. Uh, you can post any questions there that you like, as long as they're not the standard questions of like, hey, I have this much money, what kind of computer should I get? That's not what this is for. That's what the stream is for and what you can go to the Discord to ask or, you know, the comments if you want, though I don't do builds in the comments, obviously. So, yes. Um, but one of the questions caught my attention and instead of having it in the q and I responded to it because it's something we can do today. Um, Acadia Einstein uh, at Acadia said, I just bought a pre-built from Zydax, so I guess I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on their quality, etc. My buyer's remorse is so strong. I, I did respond to this. Uh, buyer's remorse is almost unavoidable when you're spending a large amount of money. Understand that that's going to be a thing. If you buy any of the systems you see in the video here or anything on the stream when I help you out one-on-one, -on -one, that's a thing. And buyer's remorse is just you feeling like I could have done, instead of buying A, I could have done B or C. That's just part of buying anything big, um, especially computers, because computer technology changes fairly often. Well, not often, but quicker than you might think. Just first off, uh, Acadia, don't worry about that. It's buyer's remorse is is a thing, and uh, as long as you're happy with what you have and it works for you, then that's what matters. But as for Zydax, uh, I was like, maybe I will check them out, and then I realized that actually. His tweet was liked by Zydax PCs. So Zydax, if you're watching this, um, can I call you Zy? 
I was just curious. I'm not going to. I was just curious about that. Um, we're going to take a look at your website today, see what kind of deals you got. And I can't comment on the build quality or anything. Um, I mean, you feel free to send me a computer if you want. I mean, <laughs> no one's really done that, but I can't comment on the build quality, but I can take a look at what the offerings are, what the uh, relative pricing is to some of our usual suspects. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's see what we get. So. Here we are, I buy power. Let's check them out. Now, if this is the same as it was on stream, they may have a ton of same day ready. Oh my goodness, yes they do. Okay, uh, whoa, look at this crazy thing. I'm sorry, this caught my attention. Uh, like it sh it's in win, in win like all over the place. What is this case? Case, in win Alice. I have legitimately never seen this case before. Where's the airflow? Oh, removable mesh wrap can be swapped out with other designs. Oh, and the IO is available, it's on the top. Inwin has some very interesting cases that they've made, uh, case in point. <laughs> case, case in point. Um, yeah, removable top plastic cover can customize with other color available through the website. So you can actually like kit this thing out. Very cool, and it being a mesh wrap, it will collect, you know, it'll filter dust and let air through. So you, I guess you can clean it when you want to, but the specs are what we're looking at here. And we're looking at 3700X, eight cores, uh, 16 threads, and a 2060 Super for $13.99. It's $140 off. That's that's a, that's a decent deal right there, not gonna lie. Um, 600 watt generic power supply, uh, keyboard and mouse, uh, generally e-waste, but still not bad. 500 gig, so short on storage, but hey, storage is super easy to add. It's a pretty cool computer. I, I haven't seen this on there before, so there's that. What we want to do is let's sort by price, low to high, and we'll check it out. So this is the this is the lowest price computer on there. If you want a really unique case and a decently specced out computer for fourteen hundred dollars, look no further. There's one right there. Plus, keep in mind all same day ready systems ship out in a matter of days. Uh, I personally received mine in four days when I ordered it, and um, yet generally it's within about a week. This one says delivery by Wednesday, July twenty first. That's this Wednesday. If you order it today, Sunday, the 18th. Okay, um, 1599, similar specs, 2070 Super, that's $200 more, and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. And yeah, same thing, 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler for both of those. And then we're getting up into the $1,900 range. Uh, but that's when you start getting stuff like the, uh, you know, eight core, 16 thread, 11700 KF, and a 2080 Super, or you can get a newer GPU with the Radeon RX 6700 XT for the same price on a Ryzen 5 5600 X. I would probably pass this one by and go right to here. 5600 X and Radeon RX 6700 XT. Now, we've gone over this a few times and I'm gonna do it again. When I say a certain thing can't do some, when I say like, oh, get this if you want to do this, it doesn't mean the other thing can't do it at all. So when I say, if you want to do content creation or streaming, get an NVIDIA card, the reason is it has an NVENC encoder. That doesn't mean the 6700 XT does not have video encoding, it does. It's just not as refined as the NVENC encoder. NVENC encoder is, is uh, actually something that you'll see programmed into OBS, it's either you do the, have the processor do it or you have NVENC encoder do it. So that's why I recommend that. It takes the load off the CPU and off the GPU. The GPU is a separate chip just for encoding. Um, that doesn't mean that this can't do that though. This can do streaming and video editing and all that stuff if you want. It's just six cores, 12 threads, not as good for multi-threaded processes as something with eight cores and 16 threads, of course. So of course the 5600X can do content creation and stuff. It's just its strong point is in gaming. For content creation, it can do it, but it will be slower than something with more cores, of course. Moving on up, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of similar stuff. Uh, 3070 Ti, 11700 KF. By the way, guys, if you see an Intel processor and it has a K at the end of the SKU there, 11700 KF, that means it's unlocked and overclockable, and you wanna see a motherboard with a Z at the beginning of the uh, designation. Z590 e gaming uh, versus a B series from uh, for the Intel chipset. Th this right here is well configured, um, but instead I would say move up to this one here. But for $150, you don't just get 
a, uh, a Ryzen platform with the 5800X, eight cores, 16 threads. It's what I use, it's awesome. But you also move up from the 3070 Ti to a 3080. That's $150 more. Do that, get that one. That's a good deal right there. It's a pretty good deal, yeah. <clears throat> Plus you're getting an uh, Asus ROG Strix motherboard and a one terabyte M.2 drive, 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. This is a pretty sweet system right here and not a bad buy-in price to get a 3080 and a 5800X in today's market. The case on this one actually has good airflow. You see this? This is the Lian Li Lan Cool 2. It's also like a $50 upgrade without my power, right? But a lot of these cases don't have good airflow, okay? so. What you'd be doing if you got one of these is doing a case migration if you notice that you have bad thermals. Meaning, whenever you start gaming for a while, after you've gamed for a while, things start to stutter or slow down or whatever, the performance drops. Most games have a built-in FPS counter that you can put up on the screen. And if you notice that number starting to plummet, other than when you go from indoors to outdoors, that's gonna usually cause a lot more stress. But I'm talking about in general, if you notice performance dipping after you've gamed for a while, you're having thermal issues. It's not allowing the processor to turbo as much. The um, frequency on the GPU is going down as the temperatures go up. That's how these components maintain their longevity. Okay, so airflow is super de duper important. So there you go. At this point, we're starting to get into pricing where I would say, you know what, you don't necessarily need to be spending $4,000 with uh, iBuyPower but you can get some pretty sweet builds for that money. Keep in mind guys, these are more for when you're in a rush or if they don't offer something. It basically, you get these really, really fast. If that appeals to you, look at this. If not, go customize it uh, like this. You go to the main site, ibuypower.com, skip the Easy Builder and go to build your PC because the Easy Builder will cut out some parts that are, are available and they just won't show them to you. Go here and you can pick one of these as a basis, as a way to start. What I am in here to do is to look at what video cards they have in stock, because at this point, it's just it's just impressive. Every one of these in stock, only one that has a four weeks lead time is the RTX 3060. That is unfortunate because it's a good card and it's great for a more budget oriented build with the newer hardware. However, jumping up from the 3060, to a 3060 Ti is $100. So for $100, you get better performance and you get it potentially four weeks earlier. You guys have seen me do this a million times. If you wanna see me do a full on custom build and how to do that, I actually have a video. I don't know why I've never referenced this video in uh, one of these when one of these uh, side dub videos, but um, it's a, uh, a full on buyer's guide on how to shop through iBuyPower. Now, the hardware has changed probably because it's been months since I made that video. However, it shows you the details on how to go step by step and buy and pick each thing with some advice here and there. Like, hey, you know, maybe upgrade your, your power supply. If you want a brand name one, go for that. Uh, our system over here, my girlfriend's Ari system over here, is the same day ready system that I bought back in like December. And it's been running on one of these, I think 750 watt, 80 plus gold generic uh, power supplies since then. It runs great, it has no power issues. So uh, just bear that in mind that you're not getting a brand name power supply if you go with one of these options and they are quite a bit cheaper. Anyway, yeah, I have a video where I go through all of this stuff, top to bottom, it's a long video. Is in. If you like details and if you like a full on guide, it's the video for you. So it's going to be linked right up here. Every processor, every, every Ryzen processor that's available right now is available right now, including the 5900X. So the Landcool 2 mesh is not available as a choice, but they got the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX in stock in both black and white. Those are fantastic cases too. And now for those of you who are concerned about iBuyPower based on the Gamers Nexus video where they covered a system they got from a retailer uh, and it was just a mess, I covered that in a previous video as well. Um, but essentially, you wouldn't be doing that here. You wouldn't be buying it from a, an unnamed retailer. Uh, you would be buying it directly from the system integrator, which I did that myself with one of these. It came in with packaging and instructions and everything that was missing from the other one. Plus, it didn't have the PCIe slot completely bent. That's an important detail. So 
Great video from them. Gamers Nexus did great coverage on that, although I wish they would have pointed out more strongly, hey, this is not buying directly from iBuyPower. We got this from a retailer, a third party retailer. It is a vastly different experience. So that uh, bears repeating. Okay, let's see what CyberPower PC's got. Featured PC, daily deal Ryzen VR, 5900X and a 3070 for $2499. All right, let's take a look. One thing that I am uh, pretty adamant about is balancing out your system. Having a balanced system is better than having that one part that you flex on, like, um, oh yeah, I got a 3080 Ti with my, you know, 11400F Intel processor. Like that's not, it's not good. It's not a good combination. Uh, balancing a system is far more important than just a rad GPU or CPU. So this system comes in a case that has no airflow. Uh, so you've got the Corsair 4000D, excellent case right there for airflow. Um, you've also got the Li and Li O11 Dynamic. There's a whole range of them here. Uh, though I am personally kind of excited to see the O11 Dynamic Evo that's coming out. Um, Der Bauer had a video on sort of previewing that, and it's it's really exciting, really, really cool stuff they did with that. But still, they have the, the classic O11 Dynamic. If you choose the O11 Dynamic, you need to add a lot of fans. It's a case that will not have good airflow unless you tell it. Have good airflow, please. So say you choose this, beautiful case though, uh, and go down here, and you pick the six Fantex RGB fans. And if you combine that with a, a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, they're, what they're gonna do if you have that, you'll have the three fans on the radiator, three fans on the side, and three fans on the bottom. That's how you max out air. Of course, you can put one fan on the back too, but really this is the exhaust you need. But if you wanna go uh, more low key and save some money, you can go with the Fantex Eclipse P400A. They have my case. I didn't get this system from CyberPower PC. I built this system. I chose this case uh, and bought it locally. But they have the Thermaltake View 51 right here. And if the reason it's separated from everything else is because it can support up to 480 millimeter liquid cooling. Uh, guess why I bought this case? Subscribe. Uh, way down the line, I'm gonna make a, uh, a video on doing hardline custom loop liquid cooling something I've never had the opportunity to do, even though I've built dozens and dozens of computers in my uh, past of uh, IT work and stuff. Yeah, they have all the processors as well for Ryzen, okay. And uh, if you go down here, we look at the GPUs. They've got, they're not doing as well as I buy power on the GPUs, to be fair. So they're out of stock of three out of four of the AMD Radeon cards. So they have the, the 6700 XT, but they're missing the 6800, 6800 XT, and the 6900 XT uh, with a four weeks lead time on the 6800 and a two week lead time on the other two. They have the GT 1030 for some reason. So here's an option if you guys want, if, if, if you guys want to get, <laughs> get three of the GT 1030s and then just smash them together because 1030 times three is 3090. Let me just point out what they have lead times on. The 3060, like I buy power, the 3070, the 3080, and of course the Radeon cards. So that means that you can get the 3060 Ti, 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti, and 3090 uh, pretty quickly. You see every detail here. You see all the customization here. This is where my stream comes in. If you look at this and your eyes glaze over, I totally understand because it's what you get when you have this many options is what I mentioned before. You get option paralysis. It's so many good choices, along with some bad choices, that you don't know what to choose. Imagine if you went to go went to Subway, and instead of like the certain meats and certain, it, it was about eight times as many options for what to put on there. You'd be like, I don't know what to pick. If this makes you feel like that, you need to come to my stream on Thursday. Get in the queue and hang out. It's a good time either way. And I will sift through all of this with your budget in mind. And I don't charge you any, it's free. It's, you just have to be a subscriber here and a follower there. Both things are free. 
and a little patient too, because I like to take my time with each person, which is good for you when your turn comes up. Now, I was a little hard on NZXT last week. Okay, this week, you're not buying from NZXT build. No, I I'm, I'm sorry, NZXT guys. You know, I just, I, I, I want the best for us. No, I'm not including you in that. I'm saying for the consumers. <laughs> and uh, you guys are cool, you do some cool things, but you're not cool in certain things. Now, I haven't been very nice to these quick and easy pre-builds. I've pointed out a few things that are glaring issues to me, but it might not be to you. And if you are interested in one of these, I'm going to link a video in the description below, and it's from a channel you absolutely should subscribe to. Uh, it's my friend, Josh Blaston. He's a great YouTuber, better at filming and editing than I am. And uh, he is also a smart and genuinely nice dude, but he also got one of these streaming PCs and he reviewed it in and out. I can't do that. I can't just buy all these computers and like, all right, here's how good this one is. Here's the build quality and all that. I'm going off of reviews and I'm going off of pricing and availability. That's what this show is for. But yeah, what we're looking at is the custom builds that you can do because I feel like you can get a very good result from actually just straight up building. Well, not building yourself, but customizing. We're gonna look at their GPU availability. That's one of the strong points here with these guys. They tell you exactly what GPU you're getting. So what you got here is a MSI RTX 2060, uh, the 3060 Ti, 3070 Ti, uh, 3080, and 3090. And you know exactly which one you're getting. Well, let's just get the 3060 Ti. I like that card. I don't like the 3070 Ti. 3070 is a much better value proposition. And pick a... Well, we don't need 850 watts, Jesus. All right, well, it's cheaper than the 750 watt. I mean, in Seasonic, Seasonic is fantastic for PSUs. Uh, okay, so what if we want to make this a one terabyte? One of the best things, if you want a Ryzen system, you want to go with 3600 megahertz RAM. And if you look here, compared to other system integrators, they have one of the cheapest upticks from 3,200 megahertz to 3,600 megahertz, $30. Well, technically it's $50 from the cheapest 3,200 megahertz right here. I obviously don't have the facilities to test this out myself. I've done research of people who have done the testing and 3,600 megahertz is ideal for Ryzen 5000. For a 3060 Ti, I would go with a 5600X right there. Uh, the motherboard, uh, low stock. Wait, what? They don't have a well-priced X570. They don't have a B550. They make a B550, and I've never seen it on here. They've never seen the N7 B550 from NZXT as an option on NZXT build. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Why? I guess you gotta go with the Tai Chi. If you need, uh, if you have ethernet from your router going to your computer, you shouldn't be concerned about Wi-Fi. It's good as a backup, but... <laughs> Uh, and you do need to make sure you have Wi-Fi if that's a feature that you need. Uh, okay, so the case is sold out. There's a, they're sold out of the H510. Boohoo. Let's move up to the H710 and get way better airflow for intake and exhaust and more space for expandability down the line. Let's go to the X63, Kraken X63. You can stick to the M22 for a 5600X and it should handle it just fine. But the X63 is, it's really nice and it has more thermal capacity, so I would do that. Or just get yourself a larger AIO down the line, however you wanna do it. If you wanna stick with the M22, save that 70 bucks, be my guest, I'm not gonna judge you. It'll handle a 5600X. If you get a 5800X, you better get that X63, just saying. I can recommend this system if your budget is around $2,000 and you wanna do some gaming, some streaming, um, even some light content creation, this will handle that, no problem, okay? 3060 Ti is Awesome, it's a great graphics card. I'm gonna take a second to talk to you about buying things, especially electronics. When you buy something that either has moving parts or just has electricity running through it, or is supposed to have electricity running through it, things aren't guaranteed to go perfectly. That's the nature of being a consumer, of buying a thing, especially something as complicated as a computer. Now, someone who is one of the rare few who will have a problem getting their computer in and maybe it's it's not working immediately and they have to go through customer service, that person, I, f I feel bad for you. I, I understand. Like I had a few minor issues with my system when I got it. I by power fixed me up. 
and this is the best option to get a gaming system right now. So going on to whatever forum you can find or social media or to uh, my videos and going to the bottom and saying this, these people are terrible. That all of their systems are bad. If you buy one, yours will not work or yours will be bad. Sharing your experience is important. Just make sure that you're clear about that. I got unlucky. This is what happened. Here's my experience. And this can happen with literally any system integrator, okay? Because you are buying something that has to plug in and function. Anything can happen in shipping. Anything can happen when it's being built, cable loose, something like that. Now, if that happens, there are troubleshooting things you can do. Talk to me on Discord in the tech questions channel. You can find the link in the description below. Just remember one thing. A lot of these companies have been around for a long time. I buy power has been around for a long time. Build Redux has not, but they're with, they're from Digital Storm. Digital Storm has been around for a long time. If they constantly gypped their customers or sent out non-working products, they would not be around anymore. That's just how businesses work. It's not intentional when those kinds of things happen. If there's a mistake in your order, or some kind of delay, or worst case scenario, your computer doesn't start up when you push the power button. There's any number of things that could be causing that. Let me know in the Discord and, uh, or let any of the people who are very helpful there know. If it's something they can't answer, they will let me know because I've been super, super busy lately. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to answer much in Discord lately, but there are some very helpful people there who can help you if there's an issue. Uh, but the reason I bring that up is because there have been a few people who've gotten a build Redux system where the IO shield is a little misaligned with the motherboard. That's not something that keeps it from working. It's just annoying. You can pop that IO shield out and you're fine. Um, but that's very rare. Um, out of all the people who have gotten it, I've only heard of two people having that issue. Let's just see what they got in stock. Now, uh, looks like they have everything but the 3080 right now, which is too bad because you can get a really good price on a 3080 system from um, Build Redux when they've got it. It's about $2,400 or so, I think. They do have the 3070. 3070 for me is the best like mid-range card on the market. It can do it all. I do it all on the 3070, uh, video editing, um, just you know, graphic design, After Effects, uh, streaming, gaming, everything with a 5800X, which by the way, they do have right there, 5800X, 3070, and you have the same basis for the system you see right back there. Memory 16 gigs, per it's totally fine if you're just gaming. And uh, they also stick you with 3200 megahertz RAM with this, so don't upgrade it here anyway. If you wanna get that magical 3600 megahertz RAM, you will have to purchase it separately and just get a whole kit and pop it in there. It is super easy. I usually recommend getting the one terabyte M.2 drive. That is much faster storage, double the storage on the boot drive before, as before. But if you wanna get that hard drive for just mass storage for like raw video or you know whatever stuff you wanna put away that you're not gonna use for a while, um, there you go. There's a build for you from Build Redux 2298. If your price range is around 2300, you'll have difficulty doing better than this. Now comes the time where we're doing something fun. I have been looking forward to this. I wanna check out Zydax because just the fact that Zydax liked that comment means that they're paying attention to things like this. And um, that already is a good sign. So let's take a look here. So of course, when you go to most system integrators, you're gonna get a splash screen with you know some things are like, hey, check this out. Wow, wow. That is some hardline liquid cooling and they guess they have lease to own. So that's cool. So if you're having trouble with just coming up with a whole lump of cash to buy all this outright, you can uh, get a payment plan, no credit needed. That is really interesting. Top selling systems. This is a good thing to put, you know, I don't see that usually. Usually they're like, hey, buy this, right? It's like, hey, here's what's on sale, blah, blah, blah. Top selling systems. This is interesting. Let's take a look. Oh, look, it's coming down here. It's been a year since I purchased my Zydax PC. I love this rig. It crushes rendering and gaming. Nice to know, John C. John Cena? Oh my God, I just saw John Cena. That's supposed to be impossible. Anyway, this system right here is 2262, all right, with an 11600K, that's a great processor. Look, okay, I know I've talked about Intel and I've said AMD's better right now. The 11600K begs to differ. It's the diamond in the rough when it comes to the 11th gen of Intel processors, okay? If you're gonna go Intel, get the 11600K. It, it, it's, it's a really great gaming processor. I mean, it's ridiculous. Now, for doing things like 
multi-threaded processes and uh, content creation, I still recommend AMD. Like right here, <laughs> 3200 for a 5950X and a 3070. See, that's what I'm talking about, balance. A 5950X and a 3070, bring it down to a 5900X, get a 3080. You know, although the price jump for the, the price dip for the 5900X and the price jump for the 3080 from 3070s, not equal, but still, that's a little out of balance. Not gonna lie. Still, good price for that uh, to have a 5950X. Let me get into customizing. This is where I can really figure out how I feel about a system integrator. Okay, we've got all the, uh, all the important stuff here, so let's go to the core case. All right. It's the X2. So the X2 has specific cases you can get. That's kind of cool. You'll have a pre-configured system, but you have a selection of the case that you get. All right, I see that. Well, still, it has some mesh around the sides. This one's probably okay. I'd like to see if there's fine mesh all the way on the front, all the way down the front, not just the sides of that front panel. So maybe a better view of the, the case would be good. Okay, so it's got you on the Gaming Edge Wi-Fi Z490. Okay, of course, if you're getting an 11600K, if you're getting an Intel processor with a K at the end of it, your motherboard needs to start with a Z. You can get faster RAM, you can do overclocking, all that good stuff, okay? Um, interesting that it's the older uh, generation one it, it, it is there, but you can get the fi Z590 Prime P right there. That's a good one. And that is $26 less, but you get more features on the Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go to processor. Do not change this processor. Okay, so there's Zydax memory, but they offer a 3600 megahertz option, which of course, if you're going Ryzen 5000 and you want that F clock to sync one to one, 3600, all right? Um, but for this, you're, you can do the 3200 megahertz. Uh, it can handle the 3600 megahertz and it's $26 more. And at 16 gigs for gaming, if you're just doing gaming, 16 gigs is fine and you get faster RAM. Okay, here, 650 watt gold. So your, your core cables, the main ones are gonna be permanently attached and then you'll have your your extra cables for power um, modular they won't be permanently attached but 650 watts should handle this uh okay optical drive <laughs> dude i just click on optical drive so you know what this is cool now let's look at graphics what do you guys got so this one is set to get a 3070 oh oh 3070 ti and it's in stock okay here's something that i think happens with these because it's only $110 more to get the 3070 Ti. That's starting to line up better with the performance difference. A little bit, a little bit. It really should just be like 50 bucks more to get the Ti. The, the, the 3070 Ti should be should have been positioned better between the 3070 and the 3080. It's not, it's way down close to the 3070. But the price in MSRP is half, like it's right between the 3080 and the 3070 by $100 and $100. So it's about the same difference in price as it would be if it was MSRP. Now, if you want a 3060, that's a good card too. It's a great card. And it's minus $403 to get that. You save 400 bucks going down to a 3060. That almost freaking sells itself. But I do want to I, I do want to mention it's not showing more options. And that might be for the higher end systems that you can see more options. Oh no. Yeah, see, they thank you. Oh my god. Yes! My dudes, thank you for typing this right here because some other places be like, ah, oh, GT710 for your ultra fast gaming computer. And it's not for basic use only, not for gaming. You get a GT710 if you don't want a game, but your processor doesn't have onboard video. That's what that's for. That's it. No other reason, okay? Storage options. Um, cool, so you can get up to the 980 Pro, get your four uh, PCIe Gen 4 and on the Western Digital PCIe Gen 4, but you can also get PCIe Gen 3. Hard drive or a solid state drive. Go up to eight terabytes on the Iron Wolf Pro. Uh, they have their own SSDs. I would love to get my hands on one of those and check out what the performance is like, but it goes up to two terabytes for only $189 more rather than the $500 for the two terabyte Samsung 860 Pro, which of course is like, it's a big brand name. Cooling, so you can go up to 240 millimeter, all in one liquid cooler. That's probably a limitation of the case. I think we've looked at this enough. Let's see the X6. Oh, look at all these cases now. Pure base 500DX. Awesome. Yes, good options here. Are all Intel? 
Why isn't there an AMD option here? Where is the marker saying like, hey, this is Intel only. I, can I switch that? Now I know for production purposes, it's good to have certain things um, pre-configured. So that's probably what's going on here. And I, I get that. Yeah, so you go with certain options, you're gonna get more, um, you get more options for um, GPUs and CPUs, as we just saw. What I like to do with iBuyPower and CyberPower PC is just go where it's just like, you can just change everything. I wanna see if there's a mode to do that here. I With the understanding that it would take longer. Oh, whoa, okay, all right. Um, something to point out. Each Zydax desktop gaming computer comes with an unheard of lifetime parts and service guarantee. That's not three years or two years. That's lifetime that no one else can match. That means if your hard drive blows up in 10 years, you're covered. Wow, that's that's really something. I That alone is like, yeah, I recommend this. Oh, look, this can have optical drives. That's cute. Let's see if we can build a budget system here. Uh, Budget-ish. Yeah, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Pick your, pick your platform. My problem was I was going with the most popular systems. My bad. All right, that's on me. Okay, so the fact that we chose AMD Ryzen put us up to 945 immediately, but I wanna see what it is that this comes with. Where's my list of, there's no running list of like just a whole blurb of all the parts that are included right there. So you wanna go with mesh, get mesh. Okay, the tempered glass is nice and it looks like it has some airflow on the sides, but get the mesh. And that's me that you're, you're talking, you're looking, you're watching a breakthrough video, airflow is key. And it looks like we're on, not on the cheapest motherboard. Well, we are on the cheapest motherboard, we are. That's right, so this is a, uh, a smaller motherboard, okay? Wow, they really give you all the details, don't they? But the options to, to upgrade are not bad at all. Like the B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi is an excellent motherboard um, in the B550 chipset. But the B550, if if you're whether you're gaming or doing content creation, usually a B550 is going to have mostly what you need, unless you really need those extra PCIe Gen 4 lanes and some of the other creature comforts you can get with an uh, X570. B550 is fine. So okay, so for this system, you're you're capped at a 5600X. But I love the 5600X. This thing's a beast. It's awesome. So okay, that's fine. Now Zydex, if you guys are making your own RAM and you're selling AMD computers, can you do 3600 megahertz? But if you can do it for cheaper than the uh, the G-Scale Trident Z, because it's your own your own line of RAM, that'd be cool. You can go with, oh, I see. Nope. Uh, guys, okay, no, no, see that? You lost me there a little bit, a little bit. I see how you got that really low starting price. I, I get it. But someone might just hit buy now or something without realizing that. So what are you gonna do? That's what you got. Okay, we go up to the 3060 and our price goes up to 1612. It's a 3060 and a 5600X. Okay, now we go back. We're gonna go to our uh, power supply and make sure we have at least uh, 650 should do it for sure. And go for the gold, you want gold efficiency. Yeah, man, you guys, you got them on a spinning hard drive. Oh. It's a little misleading because that is not a high performance gaming system if it's on a hard drive. Western Digital Blue Drive with the Zydex name on it there um, is only $69 more. Nice. So that's what we're doing right there. Because to get a one terabyte SSD would be 121. You could get a one terabyte hard drive, but it's going to be slow. So I would just get the one terabyte of storage here. Okay, 1743. Let's look at the cooling. And of course, it's going to be on a default cooler. The 5600X does come with the Wraith cooler, which is not awful or anything, but you can go with the, ah, oh, the Pure, Pure Rock Slim is nice. That's a good air cooler right there. And 5600X, it should handle 5600X, no problem. Okay. If you want to go want to go with an all-in-one liquid cooler, they obviously have the options there, and it's only $20 for the 120 millimeter and $110 more if you want to get the 240 millimeter. But we're going with the air cooler here. There it is. There's our system, 1773. Just to just to check this, all right, we're gonna price check this. We're gonna compare it, okay? Uh, we're gonna go with a 5600X, right there, and a 3060. This one has a two terabyte hard drive. So we go here, 1798, 1773. It still wins. Now this is air cooled, okay? It will be comparable cooling because the 5600X is not as demanding as something like a 5800X. And you can then adjust this to put a liquid cooler if you want on there. Uh, but yeah, this is, it's competitive. That's what matters. Build Redux doesn't have a lifetime warranty. It's almost impossible to quantify that. Now, what I don't know is how many case fans will come with it uh, in the case itself, whether they max them out or anything. 
So, yeah, under cooling, that would probably be good to have. Uh, or under the case, maybe additional fans, some kind of option there. Yeah, there's no option for, for adjusting how many fans are in there, whether they're RGB fans or not. I, I don't know. But um, yeah, now as for software, Windows 10, you don't have to get Windows 10 Professional. There's more, it, it gives you some enterprise options on there, uh, fu enterprise functionality. The Windows 10 Home is fine. Um, I don't think you can go without, which is something you can do on Build Redux. So there's that. But it's not necessarily a the one-to-one -one comparison between the two. And there's more customization here. Uh, that generally means more cost of operation for a company. If you want to offer people options, you have to have more warehouse space. There's more logistics. Uh, things will cost a little bit more. What is the mod shop? Oh, nice. So you get uh, custom sleeve cables. Clearly, this isn't a full review. That's not what this show is for. And um, I talked for a long time about, about, about Zydax, but Cuddles is going to have to cut a bunch of it out to make this video watchable. Um, but if you guys want a full review on Zydax, let me know. Heck, let them know, because uh, I would love to do that. So yeah, I, honestly, though, I'm, I'm fairly impressed. I've seen some other sites where it's like, oh, I've never heard of these guys. Let me go check them out. <laughs> and it's terrible. Um, but no, this this is legit. Like there seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of legit options here. Um, but I'd love to see the the build quality and stuff. But that is what is this? It customize it. What is that? That's crazy looking. I don't think you can doubt the airflow on that one. The only one of these system integrators where I can give you an actual concrete answer on whether the build quality is good or not is I by Power. Mine came in everything worked. It turned on the first time. I had a few little changes to make myself because I'm very picky about cable management and stuff like that. But yeah, the little flaws that it had aesthetically, they sent me the replacement parts and that was that. So the problem is I don't have my hands on all of these systems. I, I'm going again based off of reviews and by what I see for price and availability. That's all that we can get right now with System Integrators Weekly. But we want to expand on that, so we'll see what we can do about that. Let's uh, let's get to our comment of the week. Our comment of the week is actually on uh, the video week before last, and it's from Dot Sync. Dot Sync says it's like big tech sat down with a computer shopper mag from 1994, pointed to the four thousand dollar four eighty six, and said, "Why can't we have these prices again?" Ah, the glory days. Dot Sync, my first computer was a Tandy 1000 in the 80s. I mean, I was a kid, I was, I was like four years old when we got it. But um, that system was $1,200, the equivalent of about $3,000 today. And um, yeah, that's that was a cheap system back then from Radio Shack, still a great system, but like, what did I know? I was like five years old, you know? So I feel you when you say this, I feel this on an emotional level. Um, Hopefully, the prices will calm down, and they will. It's just going to take some time. Uh, Dot Sync, thank you for the trip down memory lane. And uh, you got the comment of the week this week. Thank you, my friend. So that's going to do it for tonight. We are uh, going to be streaming tonight. We're going to be actually, for my, my Twitch stream on Sundays, that's when I play video games. And we're actually going to be playing Terraria for the first time. That's going to be cool. Still pretty chill, but a little bit chaotic. I'm cool with that. And don't forget... On Thursday, Thursday, we have the PC Builder stream. You come in there and one by one, I will help everyone who's there, whoever, you know, whoever shows up, gets on the queue. I'll help you build your dream gaming computer and we'll get you going. Uh, and that's absolutely free. But uh, if you have any questions, be sure to hop into the Discord. Link is in the description below. And um, until next time, take care. <laughs>